So I was, uh, I don't mean to say fearful, but I honestly thought this was going to happen, which was <laughs> last time when I was talking through this. And I mentioned that th there were uh, other pictures that I took, many other ones this day, and there were some where they were actually skipping rocks. Then it hit me, <laughs> even though they're looking for rocks to skip, None of them are skipping rocks. So what I chose to do, now I'm not sure this has ever happened uh, to me painting that I've made this ch a change like this, but I mean, I'm, I know other artists have, but if you see there, here, whoop, this is how the scene was, right? I had Chase, everybody's looking for rock. Matthew's over here doing something. And they're, they're all in light. And I found a picture of Andrew skipping. So I actually, uh, I use GIMP, but Photoshopped, if you will, him behind Chase's arm. And I had him kind of floating out here in the middle, but I kind of like this look of tying them together. So I took... A different photo of Andrew just cropped it around and tucked it behind Chase. So what I'm what I've done is I just took water in a brush and uh, moved Andrew out. So I'm going to sketch this. Let's see if I'm looking back at the camera. Make sure I'm, I'm going to try to hold this even though it's a little bit heavy. Shouldn't be too difficult to draw this in because I've got. Chase's reference, right? So if this is accurate, big if, this comes down here, his shorts start in his hand there. Chase's shorts are here. If I have that accurate, then Andrew's will come down here, leg, something like that. So height-wise, he's a little, his shoulders are a little below Chase's, so, oops, probably got this over too far, it's in there, yeah, well I can't, I can't even see that, we'll be drawing this with paint. This distance is too far. His arms here. Whew, it's getting heavy. So these shorts come down just above Chase's stripe, stripe, knee. Something like that. So his head is up, his neck and head over here. So I will have to work around a little bit, but I just wanted to show you guys that we're making a little bit of a modification, which I think is definitely going to make the painting a little stronger. The main thing is it's gonna help better tell the story. Yeah, as I stand back, I was too close to as I stand back, I don't have him up here enough. But we'll, we're gonna just basically have to draw him in with some paint, which I don't like to do, but that's what we're gonna do. I am going to switch brushes from the big uh, big brush because I do want to get a little bit, even though it's a big brush, I may go even a little smaller, a little smaller. Um, 
Yeah, let's do it. I need to kind of draw in here a little bit better without losing them too much. Black, yellow, black, yellow. <laughs> so this is paint in here. All comes down. Little water, dragging a little bit. Haley's shoulder comes down pretty sharp there. Arm comes down like that. Underneath it, make them sounds you betcha. <laughs> I'm studying, baby. I'm studying this picture. Now I've got the drawing, uh, but I'm really trying as I'm Putting this in, I'm trying to match the paint that I'll probably end up with, but we all know. We all know, I'm kidding myself. <clears throat> if I think I'm uh, going to nail this, because I never do. So that is, he's over. Not that that would matter that much. I mean, he's in his throwing motion. So we're going to we'll pretend make believe we'll pretend that uh, my drawing is right though we know it's not now these are rocks now back here though it gets pretty that darn dark yeah he's got dark yeah let's we're just gonna do it we're just gonna do it Is a shape which I will have to get after I get him painted in. There is a beautiful negative shape right there that's as much contrast as there is in the painting or in the uh, image, if you will, the picture that I want to make sure I get. sure y'all still in in the picture now this is pretty bright there's some darks that run through it there are some darks and I might there's trees and stuff I'm going to put in here I don't know how much I want that to be light. Even though it's there, even though it's there, I want Chase to stand out more than it is. So we're going to fabricate. We're going to fabricate this room. Now he's got a hat on, which is the norm, which makes it tough for me to paint. Shapes there, he's gonna get that hand in. <clears throat> I 
about the only time you see me that close up on the brush. You know, got to get a little accurate, a little accurate here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sorry I'm being quiet. You probably are appreciating me being quiet. You notice every time I come up here, I'm, uh, I get a little different. I, I remix the paint and it's just always a little bit different, which is why now you're seeing why I like to remix. Now I'm purposely mixing something different than what I'm seeing. Um, a little more yellow, a little more black, whatever. But you see that if most people see green and they come over here and they mix one green for all the shadows and one green for all the mid-tones and another green for all of the highlights and that's just not smart. To me, it's not smart. Uh, there is, now this is water down here. Right, there's water down here. So how are we gonna paint that water? How are we going to paint that water? Well, we're just going to pretend it's not water. Pretend it ain't water. And just mix the color that we're seeing. And just put it down. Now we're, we'll have reflections, kind of, a little bit here and there. But for the most part, you just mix what you see. Now we're going to have to paint around people which is painful and it's painful but we just gotta do it paint up to people which stinks you don't want to do that i don't like doing it i really don't so there's a shadow here and again, I apologize, you all are not seeing the picture, which kind of stinks. I guess I could swing this over as we're moving to different sections, and you can kind of see there's a, some shadows off the bank, which I'll be painting in here a little bit. I don't want that to be exactly like that, but I'm hitting these highlighted areas here, and we'll go over them a couple times. Again, remember these are acrylics. I never hit it perfect the first time ever, which that's okay. That's okay. It is. I promise it's not. Okay. So as this comes a little forward, as it gets closer to them, it gets shallower, and it gets a little warmer. Again, remember we talk temperatures in Logan Land. We got this here, which is greenish cool. And then as it comes closer, not in shadow, but as it gets closer to them, it's actually the bottom. You know, it's shallower, I guess. And you see that, it, to me, the value doesn't change. And it's the value actually is lighter than what I've got, which will lighten it as we go. But this is a very important part of this painting. The creek, Elkhorn Creek, is um, you know painting, getting enough, having an opportunity here to paint this water is uh, is cool. It's fun. So don't uh, don't take this lightly. But it is still painting what I'm seeing. It's not rocket science. Um, just paint what you do. Best you can. It's all you can do. And I'll have to go over this several times because it's uh, it's going to take several coats of coverage. I'm painting into them, through them which means that um, 
they'll have to go back and forth and you know paint their legs too big and have to negatively paint and that's just uh, there's no easy way around it not not that I know of if there is I wish you'd tell me somebody give me the secret what is the one that the was there a reason why'd I stop there I'm second guessing myself I'm like what the heck why did I do that all right mumble mumble fumble as it comes closer now again that's got to get a lot lighter which I will let it dry and then we will paint over it but as it comes forward it gets a little warmer so how do we do that how do we paint warmer well and the way I do it is burnt sienna a little bit of burnt sienna Maybe a little much, could be a little much. And again, I may end up having to paint it over all of this, probably will, because I don't have it. I say I don't have it light enough. I know as I'm putting it down, it's not light enough, meaning it's not going to dry light enough. It's going to darken and you just have to keep doing it but that's okay this is me as much me giving myself some reference um, as anything remember that uh, sculptor analogy that I give which you just got to throw some throw some clay up there and then fix it clay and then fix it Should be. A little more water. A little more water. A little more water. A little more white. Now I'm standing kind of off the side, so I'm, I'm assuming my strokes are going in the direction I want. If they're not, we'll fix them. Um, <laughs> there's all kinds of stuff happening up in here. <clears throat> Same brush. Dummy me. Same brush. Wipe some of the paint out. We're going to put a dark in here. And we're going to put the I'm going to separate cool and warm here in these rocks. Not try to necessarily paint the rocks as I do it. I'm trying to figure out actually what's the next steps here because there's several ways we could go, and we're just we're just going to have to pick one. We're just going to have to pick one, even if it's wrong. So we've got rocks. Rocks, 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 rocks. And again, this is, uh, I know this will be painted over a few times. This is more me just kind of locating this stuff and then I'll fix them later. More dark going on there. There's a tree. There's some rocks back in here. There's a tree. 
tree here, a tree here. There's a big, there's a limb here, and then there's a big tree up through here. One right back in here, a hint of a tree goes up that way. You think I'm mad, I'm mad, crazy. No way this is going to end up looking right, is it? Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. It will. I'm ending up. I'm ending up. I'm uh, enjoying a little bit more than I thought this uh, the what's the word the, the the green saturation that I've got here and you know when I put it down I was like yeah that's uh this is too green because in the picture it's much more muted but to be honest with you I kind of I kind of dig it this is, again, this is how I paint foliage, just like you see me doing. This I'm going to work on a little bit more. This is just notes to myself, but this is just me starting to think through some of this stuff. Again, mental note, that's what I'm painting. There's a, there's a limb that comes out. It's got some nice highlights here. I'm, I'm going, again, I'm going... I can go much lighter, uh, much more vibrant than I am. Now, Chase, this whole area is uh, done, but I'm going to move it up because it doesn't necessarily matter. matters that there's some of this going on, right? But it doesn't necessarily matter where it's at. It doesn't. It doesn't. And if you just go out there and look at some of my other paintings, this is, you'll see this is how I, I, I paint, uh, how I choose to paint, what's going on back there. And this will change, this will change a lot. Don't get married to this. <clears throat> I like, this sounds dumb, but I like putting down strokes that I know I've got to fix. All right, because this is not, look, if you look at what these two things are, that's what they are. But I put them down knowing, okay, I got to come back and fix that later. And I will. I'm just trying to get things mapped out here. So let's mix up. What's the time here? Ah, yeah, we're okay. Okay, little lunch breaky. Little lunch breaky. Um... I'm going to mix up a dark. This is what do we start with, or what do I start with anyway? It's ultramarine blue and burnt sienna makes a dark. Makes a dark, right? <clears throat> it's not black. This is a pretty cool, which is good. It's okay, we're cool. Maybe it's a little cool. Kind of like it, kind of dig it. The, if I make this leading in toward the bluish side, it's going to warm the highlights up. If I make this warm, like more burnt in, it's going to cool those. Just the way stuff works. Well, this is obviously in sunlight, bright sunlight. So the sun should be warm. The light should be warm. Obviously, the sun's warm. Uh, if the light is warm, the shadows are cool. So I don't make this stuff up. I don't make the rules. I just follow them. Just the way nature works. So I'm going to continue to mix this dark, but I'm going to consciously keep it. I'm going to put a little more blue. That's a lot of blue. A little more blue 
then the buoyancy, weight, weight, buoyancy. So this, so Peyton, Peyton, works about right there. That bank comes off right by her hand. There, right exactly there. Uh, now you see why wow, my shirts and stuff looks like that. See, I just wiped across that. Happens, happens. I got an apron on too, but the apron doesn't go to my knuckles. All right, so this is where the water ends back in there. There's a little spot right there. And then this stuff here, when I do things, crazy things like this, that's a little spot there that just helps me as I'm doing this part, right? Just as I'm drawing, I'm painting. I guess I'm, I'm, I'm drawing with a brush. I'm drawing with paint, which is what I'm going to have to do, Andrew, which sucks. Sucks, but it is what it is. So there's a rock right here, a shadow of a rock. Well, there's a lot of rocks here. <laughs> Uh, but there's a couple that stand out to me. Why I do it this way, I don't know. If I wasn't talking, I would just mindlessly be painting and have no idea what I was doing. I would just, it's just a, such a subconscious, I just, and it's weird. It's just like I'm <clears throat> driving down the road and uh, zoning out. Passing my exit. That's that. I, and I'm not being silly. I'm not trying to be silly. This is uh, this is how this is for me. It's how my brain works. And uh, it's it's kind of hard to um, for me to describe some of this. I'm trying. I'm trying. See, so, yeah, this is how I soften. Put it down. Paint comes out. I lay the brush down and soften it like this. <clears throat> There's some spots up in here that are, and I'm gonna really hit some highlights and some darks. I'm gonna just keep dark, 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 dark. Cause on this painting, <clears throat> on the painting, on the picture, there's some places that are key that and I'll put a couple spots here and then to make them pop out. Make them pop, 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 pop. Didn't I say this was not going to be that hard? I believe I said this one's not going to be so bad. I don't know about that. Not sure, Johnny. You're not too sure. You know what you're talking about. Now, now you all see why artists go mad and cut their ears off and stuff. They all talk to themselves. I guess it's not bothering me. Here on his pants, Matthew's shorts. Too big of a brush, I know, I know. Mad. Um, <clears throat> yeah, you come back in here with several cracks and rocks. And, you know, you wouldn't have to do a whole lot, honestly, and people go, oh, yeah, they're rocks. I don't know. You tell me, I don't know what a rock is. So we're going to, we're going to see how this works. All I did was take that dark and add yellow to it. Now remember, it's dangerous because the three primaries, which, you know, we'll say burnt sienna and blue. Burnt sienna we know is not red, but it is warm. <clears throat> and then adding yellow will green it, but it will also 
dangerously muddy it. Uh, and, but I'm trying to mix this shadow, which is uh, it's pretty, it's pretty muddy. It's pretty muddy. And that's pretty, pretty damn close. Good job, John. Now I'm going to have to mix up quite a bit of this. And I don't have quite a bit of it. And we'll have to paint it over and over and over again anyway. So let me just mix it there. All right. Some places that are greener. That's what's exhausting about um, some of these paintings for me is to you're you're always um, this painting specifically. It's I'm painting up to the edge of so many objects. You know, I, it'd been easier just you know. Paint across, and could I have done that? And you paint the whole thing, and then you draw the people in there. The problem with that, as I've done that in the past, is then things do look like stickers. So if I if I painted this all the way across, painted all the green, all the water, the rocks, and then I drew the figures and painted them on top, I'm going to put down an arm. And the way I soften the edges of some of that is tough. And, and to me, even though it is a pain to paint back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, you know, paint this, paint that leg, back, it's, it sucks. <clears throat> but the, the result is really a better result, I think. Now, I'm, I'm, my face is or four, five, six inches from this thing. Um, so it's hard for me to tell whether this is, and I know the values aren't right, we got a lot of painting to go over this. What I can't tell is this we're starting to re read right. You know me with my reading, read, 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 right. <clears throat> Does it does it start look? Is it looking like that is actually water they're standing in front of that has shadows? Don't know. I gotta step back. I'm gonna have to step back and uh, let's see. I think when I go back over these lights and bring them out and pop them a little bit more. <clears throat> It'll, it'll, it'll be more better. <clears throat> 